안녕하세요, 저는 노키입니다, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be reacting to some more Kepler. And today we have got 우리 토끼 리더 유진, and I am so, 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 so ecstatic for her, dude. Dude, we got baited so hard, baited. So hard. We waited. We waited until 12 p.m. KST, which is when they usually drop these days teasers. Nothing. We got M2 though, so that was great. But then days just randomly decided to drop this out of nowhere. Bestie was very late with the notifications. So I'm so glad to finally be here. Now, dude, I was saying in my uh, M2 reaction that when I obviously just reacted to the teaser with you guys over here, uh, like, you know, I could get in my feelings for a very long time about Yujin, and that is exactly what I'm going to do today. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit later, dude. I am just so proud of her. Uh, I'm so incredibly proud of her and everything that she is doing right now. I think that this is just going to be the best thing for her. And I, like I said, I can go on a rant afterwards. But dude, if there is one person, if there is, like I've said this m multiple times as well, my, my bias is shouting within this group, right? Like my bias is shouting. I've voted for shouting since day one. I've also voted for Yujin since day one as well. But the thing is, it's like, I've got a line. I've got a line. Chaehyun is part of it right now. So we've got Shouting, Mashiro, Yujin, and now Chaehyun, right? This line absolutely kills me. But Yujin, she specifically just like, oof, like, oof, gets me right in the heart. I don't know necessarily if it's like a combination of the fact that I knew her before and like I'd followed her before and I really liked her a lot before the show or the fact that, you know, she's just... She, like like if it's her perseverance and how she like her attitude and just how sweet she is and like all of this type of stuff i don't know what what culmination of factors it is but she literally just oof that's that's that feeling that's what yujin does to me it's just big oof time for me when it comes to yujin so i'm so so excited to see this um i can tell you all now that we're about to die and I've said this for multiple teasers, but I don't think that I need to explain to anyone who is a Eugen fan out there just what I mean by this. This woman, this woman is literally a killer in disguise. She's literally a killer in disguise. If you've ever heard of like the Trojan horse, the Trojan horse from Troy, like the Trojan horse, you know, from like Troy, like Greek mythology, all of that type of stuff history if you've ever heard of that that is Eugen. she is just disguised as like a present and then inside she's literally just like she's she's a murderer straight up she's crazy she is so 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 incredible with everything that she does her duality is insane absolutely insane and i can't wait to see what she pulls off here but we already know this side of her anyway too so look with that being said without any further ado let's get straight into it massive old like full screen and trojan bunny in three two one Let's go. Kepler. Fuck. I'm crying. I'm crying. Nah, I'm not tearing up right now. Yo, I'm literally tearing up right now. Who? <clears throat> Who? Speechless. Speechless. I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. No words. No words. Yo, the way... The way that she has been like... The way that she has been positioned here... It's just so diff. The way she has been positioned is so diff. Like her look, her outfit, her vibe the 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 way she just exudes exudes is probably the right word the way she exudes this energy just by looking at you wow like i don't quite know how to describe exactly what it is that i'm trying to say but let's go frame by frame and try dude i need this in like 8k look at this 
Look at this shot. She's insane. Oh, I am getting chills. I'm getting chills. She's got like that, that like gloss on the top of her lip, like that little shimmer. Look at how beautiful her eyes are. Look at how beautiful her eyes are. Yo, I swear to God, man. This woman's gonna kill me. Kill me? Like, it's exactly what she's gonna do. Like, honestly, dude, the lipstick too? How powerful. Look at the confidence too. Like, and this entire shot is literally just her... It's literally just her slightly tilting her neck. Slightly. Oh no. This blazer too. And it's off the shoulder as well. Nah, you so wrong for that. You know it too. That's the worst part. That's the craziest part about Eugene. She knows exactly what she's doing. Also, can I say, I am such a sucker. I'm such a sucker for high ponytails, man. High ponytails, just crazy. I'm such a sucker for high ponytails, man. It is just the biggest power move. Like, okay, the cheat codes, my cheat codes are this. Knee-high boots, knee-high boots and high ponytails. They are my cheat codes. You wear that, it's cheating. It's cheating. Jesus Christ, does she know her angles? Mental. Don't play with your hair at all. Don't even interact with it. Don't interact with your hair and don't interact with my eyes. Don't look at us. We're not worthy. Nah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does she know her angles or does she know her angles, man? You will never, ever, ever be able to see normal people pull off a look behind the shoulder like that. Over the shoulder. She literally looking back at you being like, what? Nah. This is her experience. This is her industry experience. This is the countless number of photo shoots that she's done already. Yo, she's like, sometimes I just forget, you know? Like sometimes I forget, then I remember, then I get sad and then I cry and then I forget and then I get happy because she's in Kepler and then I remember again and then I get emo. And I'm emo right now. <laughs> Fuck, just the head tilt too. Nah, man. The way she's looking. She is so cute. She is so cute. Like, literally, the way that she looks at everyone, it's just so cute. That's how I look at pizza. <laughs> look. She's so cute. I love her nails, too. What are they, blue? Blue, and they've got, like, glitter specks in them? Yo, the way she look, like the way she still follows you with eye contact, looking out. I don't think any of the other girls have done that yet. None of the other girls have done that yet. Once they get pretty much to the door frame, they immediately shift their eyes. This got to be intentional, surely. It's got to be intentional because it's like she's like waiting with bated breath. She's almost leading us out the door as well, if that makes sense. Like she's as she's walking out. She keeps watching and she's like trying to bring you to that's where she's bringing your eyes because she's still locking eyes with you She's still locking eye contact with you watch Like it still draws you like you still get drawn into that you don't just go Oh, she's walking outside. So I'm gonna look to the left now and expect to see her outside Like you're still you're still being drawn with her eyes She's such a pro bro pro bro that works She's such a pro Yo, she didn't look up? Or did she? Or... 
instead of the light being up here, is the light further to the left now? So whatever is... Has something been descending? Hang on. Has something been descending from the sky? Is that what's happening here? Has something been gradually descending from the sky and that's like why she didn't look up? Is that where we're going with that? Because the light is like very full on on her face right now too. Yo, and she's straight up. She ain't like, she ain't waiting around either. She's like full swinging around that door. She's ready. She's like, all right, I know where to go. I know where everyone else is. I know where my members are. Nah, I'm clowning. I bet. I bet. <sighs> Look, for Eugene, man, I've got way too much to say, but let me put it very simply. Simply put, the thing is, is that she has deserved all of this from the very start. She has deserved all of this from the very start. But fucking 3D Shape Company, all right, that 3D Shape Company has just done her so dirty from the beginning. And we're not even going to focus on that because it's not worth it. But the thing is, is like, she has deserved all of this from the start. She is such an incredible person for being able to persevere through everything that she has. And it just means that she is so determined, so determined to still go after this. After everything that she's been through with CLC, after everything that that group has been through, and the fact that she swallowed her pride, because consider this, it takes so much balls. It takes so much to swallow your pride, to turn around and say, look, I know I'm a debut idol. I know that there's gonna be somewhat of a prejudice against me because people will hold me to a certain standard. And I know that I'm dropping down to like the lowest place that I can possibly be and that is a trainee. Yet she still gave it a go. She still came out there, she still gave it a go. She still worked her absolute freaking ass off in that show. And she finally gets to debut with an opportunity in what is going to be, and mark my words, what is going to be one of the biggest girl groups in K-pop. They're going to be one of the biggest girl groups in K-pop in the fourth gen. Also, Rosie, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. I'll talk about it after. But, dude, it's just... She's swallowed so much for that. She's endured so much with CLC. And now, finally, finally, for the first time, she's going to be in a group that gets a concert. She hasn't had that. She has not had that. She's going to get to be in a group that goes to a concert. She's going to get to be in a group that gets more than two music show wins for one song. She's going to get to be in a group that is internationally recognized and recognized in Korea. She's going to get to be in a group where she gets a light stick. She has a fandom that gets a light stick. And she is finally, after six years of being in the industry, six years, like, you know, she's going to be on Mama, man. Crazy. And nevertheless, as the leader, as the leader, she's not ever, she's not ever going to be ignored again. She's not ever going to fade into the background again. She's not ever going to be held back again. She is literally the leader. She is one of the biggest figures in this group. She is the Madonni. She is the oldest. She is the mother figure. Madonni, right? She's the backbone of Kepler. She is the backbone of Kepler. And I can't wait to see where she carries them, man. Mimo. I, I really can't wait to see where she carries them. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm so proud of her. I'm infinitely proud of her for everything that she has done and everything that she'll continue to do. And I'm so excited and I'm so happy that if there's one person who's going to be able to look after and care for all of these girls, if there's one person that's going to look after and care for all of these girls, one person that we can trust, along with Machido, without any doubt, 
it's her. Like if there's one person that we can trust to lead them through the nerves of their first live stage. Oh fuck, I'm getting so emotional. If there's one person we can trust to lead them through the nerves of their first live stage, of their first concert, of their first mama performance, even though she's going to be so nervous herself, if there's one person we can count on, it's her. God damn it, man. It's gonna be crazy. This is gonna be such a ride, like such a ride, and I can't wait. This is why she kills me. She's a visual attack. She's so visually aggressive, it's insane. The way she transforms from this to Yujin just on VLive with her eye smile and her her puppy face, her, her, her little bunny type attitude, the way that she's got that, she's got that personality and she's such a sweetheart. She's so soft. And then she just transforms to this, it's just mental. That's one thing, but you know, this, this is what it means to be like vindicated. This is sweet, sweet vindication. Finally, like finally, Karma has done something right. Like finally, she is getting what she deserves after all that time. And if anything, that's just an inspiration to anyone to never properly give up because you can get there. Even amongst the worst of circumstances, you can get there. She's nuts. Anyway, uh, I love her. I love Kepler. I love you guys. And I really just want to say thank you so much for tuning in uh, today's video. Like I said, I had some shit to say. I have shit to say about Eugene at all times. At all times. I will not ever get off this spiel. I will never stop talking about this. Because she's incredible. And it deserves to be talked about. Because Eugene does not deserve to be ignored. That's why it always deserves to be talked about. She always deserves to be talked about. This story can never die. Right? But of course, we should always focus on the future. And what she's got laying ahead of her. And so that's exactly what we'll continue to do. Whilst also remembering just how lucky we are to have her as part of Kepler. Um, of course, let me know what you thought of the teaser. Uh, let me know what you, thought, what you guys thought of the teaser. Obviously down in the comments below for those of you guys still watching. Uh, I really just want to say once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Of course, if you guys want to go and catch more videos, then I do post other Kepler content over on my other channel, Shoutings. So go and give that a look down in the description below as well. But until next time, I really just wanted to say thank you so much once again for tuning in. Obviously, make sure to subscribe if you guys are hanging out for more Kepler reactions and if you guys would like to see more stuff because I will continue posting for them. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there. Love and appreciate you all. Alt Kepler, bro. And I'll see you in the next one.